To enter grad school, a lot of times you have to have pretty good grades from your undergrad degree, and usually that encompasses taking an examination, regardless of what field it is, it's to get into grad school, okay? And your GPA has to be somewhat good as well. If those two things are not good, then what I'd recommend is you can supplement it with experience a lot of the times, uh, depending on if you're on the lower end of scoring within entering the school, because usually there is a bare minimum. So if you're on that bare minimum side, but you have experience, a lot of times that will push you over the edge as far as getting into the actual school itself. That's extremely beneficial. And I've said this in a previous video about undergrad, you should try to volunteer and get as many letters of recommendation from professors or doctors that you pass their class or you know them personally as far as getting to know them and talking to them, you would have those letter recommendation, you have experience whether it's for a nonprofit or not, and you also have the GPA and the scores that get in. So if you did have all the grades and you did have good credits as far as getting into grad school and you don't have the experience part, then a lot of times they will accept you because that's basically university and you'll find this out when you leave university is it's really not the real world it's just not the real world and most people only care can you do it or not can you do the job or not can you perform or not that's all they really care about and to realize that is really really poor a lot of the times because sometimes you could be working when you get a job your first job and the person next to you or the person above you doesn't have any education whatsoever and a lot of the times that's a person you want to shut up and listen to because they will teach you more than anything else and that's what it comes in that experience part so if you don't score high on that exam but you have a mentor that can help you that can talk to you that can write a letter of recommendation for you potentially to get into grad school take advantage of that if you can because they can guide you more than any professor when you go to grad school you're going to be expected to read a lot and I mean an absolute whole bunch of reading okay on top of that you are going to have to write many papers and when I mean papers I mean papers I mean 20 to 50 pages sometimes even more than that just for one class okay and a lot of times those papers it's not just reading the assignments reading what you're done you know you're supposed to be doing but it's also reading about getting the peer-reviewed sources and putting those in your papers and making an argument and then having it attacked and things of this nature you're really going to have to pay attention to that if you don't like reading <laughs> I strongly suggest you would not you would not take a grad school course if you don't like reading because that's all grad school is is basically reading and arguing about stuff and you're going to have to learn how to read and write and I can tell you this right now in the undergrad I came out of public education and I can tell you I was not suited to read and write I could not read and write at a proficient level and I'm willing and perfectly willing to say that that is acceptable that's normal in our society at least in the United States Many people did not learn how to know how to read and write properly. I did not know how to read or write properly at all. As a matter of fact, I spent the first year of college inside the reading and writing lab and I got so proficient at it that I would edit my friend's papers because I had to put in the work in order to do that because I knew down the road I wanted to get that grad degree. You're not going to be the smartest person in the room and that's okay, all right? That's perfectly fine. You have to accept that. Just realize you bring value just like every other person that's in that classroom brings value. You have to figure out what value you bring because it's real easy to nitpick and compare yourself to other people but you have to think to yourself okay i got here i made it here what do i bring to the table and there's something unique that i bring as well you have to realize that you have to because if not it's going to make you really sad and depressed and as far as oh i don't know if i can do it it's going to make you self-doubt a lot and you don't want to do that you know you bring to the table act like you belong there because you do you do belong there because you made it there and I see some people get discouraged when they make it because they they see people that are more intelligent than them, this, that, and the other. They study better, they make better exams, they make better papers, this, that, and the other. But there's something you bring that they may not bring, you know, and they're maybe over here doing the same thing you are as far as like, oh, they have this, and you, you know, just don't do that. Focus on yourself and what you can do. Don't focus on anything else. That That's my personal opinion. Figure out a thesis that you want to write sometimes before you go to college, okay, as far as the grad school part. What thesis? What are you interested in? How does it apply? And then start thinking and brainstorming that because that's going to come a lot faster than you think it is. And that's definitely what she said. But that's going to become in your mind as far as that's going to happen a lot faster. I mean, those two years are going to go by like that. And you're going to wake up and you're going to go, wow, if I would have just started this before, I, I would have been so much better. I would have been so much better off if I would have just had this idea in my head before and started planning it out. You may not have the syllabus yet, but at least you have an idea of what you want to do it on. Instead of just piece it together last minute and you're stressed out, you're, 
you just don't want that. You want to have an idea of what you want to do, okay? Which leads to my last point. A lot of grad school is actually unnecessary in my opinion because a lot of the times most people that want a grad degree is because they want to move into upper management and they want to have the higher grade as far as where they are in the corporate ladder. A lot of times if you do not have a master's degree it will inhibit you from moving forward in a company. You will max you will max out in a certain level and that'll be it. If you're satisfied with that then that's cool. If you're not satisfied with that and you want to move above it then I would suggest a master's degree. These are my thoughts on a master's degree. If you guys have any thoughts about master's degrees please put them down in the comments below and thank you for visiting the fellow gent. If I haven't earned your subscription yet please go ahead and start subscribe down below and